versus Sheik. This is going to be a very uh, interesting match to watch. Just instant needles for that solid two damage. But hey, any damage is very nice against a Bayonetta. Rags is trying to keep the pressure. LJ playing rather passively, but I guess that is the best uh, play style to play against a Bayonetta. And so far, it is working out. Very nice job countering the Bat Within. He does need to be careful off stage, though. Rags not really doing Last much with the combos. There we Connor. go. Last call for Connor. All right, your name DQ then. All right, can I get Shiro versus Dove? Yo, let's go Jeff to speed. And that back here, we'll take it. Uh, I see what he was trying to go there. He was trying to go for uh, a potential air dodge. Unfortunately, it did not work out for him. He just didn't do it. Uh, and there's the actual air dodge. I guess he thought he was going to do the same thing twice. But he needs to try and get something off soon because Bayonetta is in a really high percent. And he doesn't really have much that he can do. And unfortunately, Bayonetta also has rage. So, you know, that's fun. But Bayonetta at 183. This is not looking good for LJ right now. Ooh, very nice bouncing fish to cover the uh, recovering Bayonetta there. Nice job. Oh my god. Okay. I was thinking that she was going to just stick there. Yes, Bayonetta versus Sheik. Which is pretty true. Yes. Rax hasn't really been able to get off too many combos, though. A lot of uh, damage has really been individual hits. A few combos here and there, but nothing has actually been like really threatening in terms of uh, actually getting a kill when it comes to a combo. Yes, and that's really the best way to play against the Bayonetta. Just play passively and look for the tiniest mistakes that Bayonetta allows. I like Shulk. Shulk's good. What? <laughs> Another nice bouncing fish. Unfortunately, not gonna kill. <laughs> that is true. Uh, LJ keeps trying to go for these up air kills and just not managing to get any of them. He's always making the wrong choice, which is unfortunate. And unfortunately, no air dodge for those bullets. And Sheik unfortunately has that Sheik syndrome to where, unfortunately, she's not going to be able to kill once people get up to higher percentages. And Bayonetta almost got up to like 200% on her first yeah, stock. I think, uh, wasn't OJ on like 150? Yeah, Bayonetta was like, like 180 almost on like first stock. It was really high. Also, were they... Uh, interesting pick, especially with the fact that he won. But again, he wasn't getting that many combos off, and he was getting more of individual hits and really small combos. So maybe that might be why. Yeah, especially with the fact that OJ was playing super passively and now is playing a lot more aggressively, knowing that he can actually go in. Unfortunately, it's not exactly working out too well. Yes. Uh, 
Ooh. That was a very nice read of an air dodge, but Rax decided to just drift a little bit. See what would happen. Try to uh, analyze some date. That actually killed. Okay. <laughs> Is that just town and city? Uh, I... Probably. On any other stage, I probably wouldn't have... Well, aside from Smashville, that wouldn't have killed. That would have happened on Greenland. Uh... Potentially, but on this stage in Smashville, it's still it's still a little bit iffy because he was definitely going a little slow at the end there. But that it's just like that sometimes in Smashville. Or Smash Brothers rather. But so far it's looking pretty similar to how game one was. Diddy Kong with a good amount of damage on him. And unfortunately, OJ not managing to get any kills. And that's not really his fault. He's been trying and trying to get some kills. Uh, some uh, throw into an up air or something into an up air. But unfortunately, uh, Rax has just been dodging successfully with every single up air that uh, he's tried. Now Rax has a 66%. And now, and now OJ either has to try and kill early, which is like the best thing that Ashik can do, or he has to try and tire him out again and try and get that uh, win, like after he gets up to like 150% again. And unfortunately, OJ is really close. If he gets caught in another one, yeah, one combo isn't sober. And that's not it. He fell out of it, surprisingly. And a charged up smash. Not going to take it. But that rage definitely uh, led it somewhere. And that's one of the few up airs that OJ has finally connected. But unfortunately, it doesn't end up killing. Oh, and he tries to go for it again. And it unfortunately cost him the match. It's just all those up airs just can never connect, and it really sucks. Because so many times. So